when I started to learn mosaic 15 years ago, um, my dream was to make a lot of mosaic sculpture in my patio gardens, as I am a um, king gardener. My mosaic teacher was uh, very experienced and uh, Hungarian mosaic uh, artist. She taught me everything, uh, all knowledge of uh, traditional mosaic technique for two years. But she is no familiar of uh, sculptures. Um, apart from her, those days, I didn't know any acquaintance who did mosaic work, certainly not mosaic sculptures. So what I did was I bought a um, bird or a terracotta pot from shop and I applied mosaic pieces on top of it, or simply uh, applied uh, cement, piled up on cement on a stone to make a frog or an octopus. But soon I realized these available materials are no good for my armatures they don't give me any satisfactions. To make our own armature was a huge task for me um, without any knowledge of sculptures. I struggled to find out what a suitable material tools or Grues. On top of that, I have to understand the strength and also gravity of sculptures. I made a lot of mistakes, and I'm still making mistakes. And today I am more than happy to show how I did it, <laughs> showing my, um, my work. Um, so these first and second pictures, they are early work of mine, and they are very few of my flat surface mosaic. Would you excuse me to call it flat surface? Uh, indeed, this one I used traditional reverse technique. Cobwebs. I made uh, two mistakes. Um, I made the main part. Afterwards, uh, I used arodite, which is a uh, glue, one of glue, arodite to fix beads randomly. I want to make uh, raindrops. But uh, arodite, after five years, under the sun, color changes, and also weatherized and lose a grip. Second mistake was uh, this uh, elongated long uh, um, wire with beads. It's meant to blend into the plants on the wall. That was my design, but weight of beads sagged down the wire. Before I moved to 3D, I went on to 2D. This is a, looks huge to me, but it's a small, like that. Um, I prepared a um, metal panel, sh cut shape of the bat, and I applied mosaic head, bodies, and uh, on top of that, uh, I used smalty, and the smalty extended to bone structures. Second uh, 
the 2D, it's a um, green man spurting water onto the planter underneath. This one I used to plaster molding. You made a full size of face with clay, pour the plaster, make a mold, then after you scrape off all the clays, you pour the cement in. And the face is a smooth finish, but this one I want to make some texturized hair. So I cut uh, green tiles randomly and also pile up with glues until I get shape. 3D, but um, very small, this one, because I wanted to start from a small scale, 20 centimeter height of actual sculpture. Um, I made a um, sausage shape of chicken wire, pressing wire with my hand, and glue on a uh, stone, then I applied the cement. But this time, cement, I made final shape of face and uh, hand um, legs with free hand. Then rest of robe, also free hand, I just stuck all the tiles till I get shape. Cobra was my first three, proper 3D. I made an aluminum bar on a core, and then I put a wire panel, weave through a shape, vaguely the um, cobra shape, and then top of that, I used a small size of mesh panel to get a little bit more shape of cobra. Then, followed by cement, which I can make detailed of final shape. Then I, I apply the tiles. Uh, by the time I finish cobra, I have no more room in my garden. <laughs> so I have to move to indoor. So I did uh, the other way around of another mosaicist. So indoor, still I made, uh, I used cement. And uh, this is one of uh, planet series, Moon Sister. It was a very sh uh, simple shape, simple design, but I had a difficult to make a shape of spherical, uh, well, make an armature of spheric shape, ball shape. I tend to use uh, dark color, and so I have some in my mind, something colorful and uh, more flamboyant piece. So Sun Brother was a perfect motif. And uh, simply, I use red, gold, and a lot of beads. Shooting star, it's the same, same manner flamboyant, but in blue color. By the time I was thinking next project, I fell up with the weight of cement. So I learned uh, cement fondue, which is very light cement. It's a cement with fiberglass. This is my first work, so it's not 3D, it's 2D. This is a 3D with fiberglasses, and the girl with hat in a cafe gave me the idea. And I was um, fascinated, it's the shade of the hat on her face. Red coat, but it's a jelly hole. 
long face, long blonde hair, so who else? The Marilyn, I always want to make her face. And I use mainly, looks very blue and green, but uh, I concentrate to use pink to emphasize her fragile beauty. Uh, my friend of mine was complaining uh, uh, dark, narrow corner of uh, corridor area. And she was looking for chandelier. And I saw the chandelier, I got a better idea. <laughs> so here you are, I made um, octopus and squid. And uh, I extended to more elaborate decorative uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish, I made another mistake. I designed the head part should tilt, but when I hung up, didn't tilt. I asked a friend, what should I do, what should I do? No solution, so I had a drastic measures. I chiseled out tiles in some area, and uh, I drilled the hole, and I put a proper cement, so it's tilt. <laughs> the, when you go stained glass shop, you usually buy four by four, already cut one, but it's a big uh, uncut sheet has uh, uneven, round edge. And uh, I was always want to use that part of uh, glass. So this time I use for his mouth. Our next three uh, pictures, I would like to introduce you uh, the material oyster shell. I got the idea in a restaurant. I was looking at my leftover shell on a plate. I saw the shade of colors the brown, creamy brown, dark brown, almost black color, and some are very white and shiny part inside of the shell. So I made a kiss me frog. And surprisingly, shell is a strong material. And again, yet it's easy to cut. This is... Um, Another example, you can cut finger shape with tile nipper. Tile cutter? You call it cutter or nipper? <coughs> Next one is shell. Um, this is not frog, it's a creature anyway. And the same one as uh, I made a, a top half. It's an oyster shell, and underneath is a uh, mesh wire panel. But half bottom, first time I used polyesterine. Polyesterin. Polyesterine? No, anyway, light one. But I, it's because I used first time, um, I scared, I wrap with a mesh panel, then apply the cement, then mosaic. Um, this project, uh, actually, um, the idea come from uh, um, invitation to Fabage egg project this year. It was in uh, Christmas, New Year's time. For eight weeks, you have to finish. But uh, I saw the size of the uh, egg was this high, and I couldn't do it for eight weeks. So I chose quickly to spend the time uh, Christmas and New Year's with my husband. So quick decisions. But uh, I produce own egg. <laughs> Once uh, I decide to work on a project, I usually try to work three, four hours a day, but every day, seven days, uh, week. 
I mean, instead of working eight hours one day, next couple of days you don't work. Well, this way I can focus uh, my idea to the project. A local shop with uh, uh, wire and uh, mesh panels. As you see, I introduced very base of armature, large and strong wire mesh, then gradually smaller and smaller finer mesh. These um, glues we I use. I use uh, normally no more nail rather than PVA because uh, I use only small quantity at time and the uh, contained tube is much easier for me. Um, Arodide, as you know, is very quick dry glue for horizon horizontal material. It's no good for vertical one. It drips. Uh, so I use uh, isopon P38 for vertical one. Gray one is um, cement fondue and uh, white package is a fiberglass sheet. I'll tell you later on. Tools with uh, uh, small size but slow speed uh, power tool I use. Like a grinder, very small one, I just smooth the surface. Then right hand pictures, I apply the piece. And the other one is a um, glass grinder. I don't cut in shape with a grinder, but uh, I use uh, unwanted part. When you cut in the shape of a tile, there is unwanted parts is sticking out, so I shape her off. Uh, very useful for small size of uh, sculpture. The material, surface material, uh, nothing unusual, just mosaic, uh, stained glass, um, bees, maybe in my case is oyster shell. Uh, this is a uh, drawings, what I'm doing now. And I usually make, make small scale of model before actual size of armatures with clay, clay sometimes I use a boiled egg if it's head, uh, papers, doesn't matter, anything. Just to study feasibility for 3D from drawing. And this is the very base of uh, what I'm doing. Actually, I'm doing Ophelia. And this is with, well, I wrap very base with uh, wire mesh, wire mesh and also mesh <coughs> panel. Uh, the cement fondue is, is no cement, I mean, the, um, it's a chemical cement. Um, I put water, the consistency is like uh, yogurt. Then I dip in, dip a piece of fiberglass. I cut usually two square meters or a triangle shape, dip into uh, fondue, then I apply to my armatures. And this is a half-finished armature showing Liz. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>